What's up guys, TR here again. Just letting you, you're just gonna make a kind of short video. Uh, we went to St. Louis today and I just found out a couple days ago that uh, there's a Pepper Palace uh, right outside of the Metro St. Louis, the Chesterfield area by a little airport. There's a new strip mall that they got out there. I'm not sure how long it's been there, a couple years maybe. But uh, just found out there's a Pepper Palace there. So on our way back, we decided to uh, check it out and went through and uh, tried a bunch of different stuff, uh, everything from the mild to the wild. And uh, last thing I tried as I was walking out was the, uh, they got a little bottle of this, um, it's called the end sauce. And I believe they sell it with a, with like a big bookcase and some other um, novelty stuff. And anyway, I guess it's a um, kind of an extract based sauce. They said it was roughly six million. Now I don't know if it's a six million extract that's in the bottle or if the bottle itself is six million. I never bothered to ask, but uh, one of the interesting things that I found out was they had this Scoville chart on the wall and they had a bunch of uh, peppers showing you what they look like. And I showed the gal that works there a picture of my my ghost and, and said, you know, that kind of uh, looks like one of those uh, scorpions there. And I said, yeah, you know, that's that's true. But uh, anyway, the two top ones were the, the Carolina Reaper and the, Mor the, the Maruga Scorpion. And uh, somehow my ghosts are getting that wicked tail on them. So not really sure what's going on there. But like I said, they're pretty wicked hot. So got to be careful with them. But uh, anyway, I made a video earlier. I don't know if I'm going to post it yet. It was just uh, something... A little thing I did outside of the uh, Pepper Palace just can tell you what I'm telling you now and anyway I bought the uh, a mild can of their mango salsa which was really tasty not not a whole lot of heat to it but I didn't want it the heat right now and and then I bought a bottle of the um, it's a uh, kind of like a smoke I don't know if it's smoky but it's a bourbon glaze for a barbecue and since I'm a barbecue guy I, I started barbecue before I did started doing uh, heat related stuff, but I don't have any of that stuff on YouTube yet May, uh, Maybe some other day, day but Anyway checking out and I ended up this is kind of what the, the uh, Show is gonna be about tonight is that uh, on their counter they have these well habanero pralines and they're made from lambs candies Austin, Texas and there's two of them in there since so they're hot we'll see and I'm not too concerned about tearing the box up because this is not a challenge anyway that's what they look like Let's see if I can read some, some stuff off here but uh, anyway it's mostly pecans corn syrup sugar butter everything that's good for you but I want to see where the habanero is wow these things are sticky it's kind of hard to read of course I got my glasses on uh, I'm not seeing habanero, habaneros yet. Uh, it does have habanero extract. Uh, it says chili extract, habanero chili extract, and so we know habanero chili oil. So there, there's a chance that these might have a little bit of heat to them. But anyway, you see the box, it's got the habanero on it. I got the habanero right here. <laughs> but anyway, I've been having some problems with my hobs, just the, with the innards in them and they just smell kind of bitter. So this one is actually looking kind of dark on the end so it might have that same problem. But we're gonna give this a go. And it looks, yeah. I, I am smelling some chili on it. Sugar, pecans, 
little bit of chili oil in there. It's really gooey. It tastes really good though. It kind of tastes like kind of tastes like a really gooey pecan pie. I'm waiting for the heat though. It's not getting any right now. It's not moving my needle at all. I'm feeling just a teeny tiny bit of heat right in there. I may save the other one for another time. But I may go ahead and do it just so I can see if I can get the heat to build. But if any of you guys are familiar with the, the fiery Snickers that came out like last summer, I haven't seen them out this, this summer yet. But uh, it had a little bit of chili extract in it, and it had just a tiny bit of heat, just to kind of let you know it was there. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting off of this. But I'm going to cut this up real quick, just to see if, if I'm still having that same issue. Smells like a hob. I'm gonna take my glasses off real quick. So it's getting getting dark, getting kind of hard to see. Getting a little bit of something way in the back of there. Yeah, see how dark that is inside of there. It's not gonna focus very well. But that's kind of what I'm dealing with with my hobs. But let the birds take care of them. Now, just to play it safe, I'm going to go ahead and cut the placenta and seeds out of that. I just thought of something. Now, I think it's a habanero praline.
get rid of my trash. That helps. But you know, when you anytime you cut out the placenta and the seeds, uh, you're you're killing about I'd say half of your heat. But I'm I'm definitely feeling it now. That took me from a, like a, a half on my scale to more like a one, one and a half. <laughs> I pushed it down on there so it ain't going nowhere. But don't ask me to do that with the re with those uh, ghosts. Not happening right now. Definitely tastes more like a habanero now. And put these back on. <clears throat> now we're getting a little bit of throat burn. I'm a solid one now. Anyway, when I went to uh, the Pepper Palace, I, I've got a, a sticker on my phone that I got from Roger Trier for his uh, hot damn show, and I showed it to some people there, and uh, <clears throat> lots, of, lots of noobs, and me, I just felt like a kid in a candy store. Just want to go in there and try some stuff out, see if I can melt my face off. Other than the end and the death by salsa, those were the two really painful things there, but it's extract based, so it really, honestly, didn't taste very good to me. But I uh, plugged uh, Roger, his show, uh, Hot Sauce Junkie Tim, and, and I sent him a message when we left. So yeah, dude, I plugged your, your channels, and he's like, don't forget yours. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I did. But, you know, I'm just starting out making amateur mistakes. Not a big deal. But uh, anyway, I actually do like those, but uh, 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 not a chance. But anyway, if I if my hobs were a little bit hotter uh, and I wasn't dealing with the issues that I had, I probably would have done like the whole cross section of it with the uh, the, the 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 flesh, the seeds, and the placenta. That would have really kicked it up a notch, but flavor-wise, yeah, I like those. They're remind me of a pecan pie, and, and I'll probably get more uh, if we go down there again. But I'm not going to make a special trip down there just for that. But um, uh, don't really have anything else to say, just uh, other than playing a waiting game with the tincture and um, I'm not going to do any of the stuff that I bought there tonight, like the the sauces or the salsas, uh, because I, I tried them at the store. They're they're not hot at all, but they do taste good. So I do recommend the uh, the bourbon glaze and the the mango salsas. <clears throat> but other than that, it was just kind of like to me, it was kind of like a a novelty store. Uh, I know they make everything not in house, but they. I guess the Pepper Palace has their own factory, I guess you call it, where they make all their own stuff. And, you know, some of it's pretty good. I didn't try everything in the store, but I did not try the nasal napalm. Um, not really sure why, I just probably just got busy and forgot about it. Because I think I was more focused on trying some of the end uh, stuff, which I probably could have handled twice as much as what they gave me. but. What they gave me at the time had a pretty good sting to it, so I'm not going to complain too much. Because, you know, they got to protect themselves too. But, uh, anyway, uh, one, hopefully soon, um, I've got a video that I did about a month ago at one of our church carry ins. And me and my little buddy, uh, Owen, we, we did some ghost chips and he really liked them. And, 
And so I've been bringing some stuff uh, uh, this week for them to try out. I brought like the uh, the flaming hot Doritos. And he really, really liked those. They're not as hot to me as the blazing ones, but I can't find the blazing ones around here anymore. Uh, I brought a bag of spontaneous combustion popcorn that I, I originally got at Bass Pro. Uh, I, I had a bag and I nearly burned it because, you know, two to five minutes. Well, I went a little bit over two and it burnt half of them. And, but I could, I could still taste the, uh, the seasoning, but the popcorn wasn't good. So I uh, made a bag at our VBS and uh, shared it and just about everybody there who enjoys spicy food loved it. And, and uh, But I think one of the next things I'm going to do with Owen when we have the time is uh, I've got the three bags of the, uh, the Carolina Reaper peanuts and I think I'm going to have him try two peanuts of the green bag and then if he can tolerate it more I'll work him up to the uh, the yellow bag, but I'm not going to have him touch the red one. It's way too hot for a young one. But I think what I'm going to do is while he's doing that, I'm going to do the the box of the Death Nut Challenge that I got along with him. So we're going to have some fun with that video, and I'll probably tear up and get some nose action going. But uh, till then, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, smash that button. And <laughs> what I get for hanging around crazy chili heads but anyway guys thanks for watching these are good tasty ah no heat couldn't even tell that was in there as you can see I had to put one on myself <laughs> thanks for watching